Okay, the very last thing that I want to show you today is the texture baking. A Blender has a full baking set of tools that allow us to bake everything from normal maps to the full render to uh, spec passes and anything else. We can see our full set here. So specular colors, specular intensity, alpha, emission, textures, normals, shadows, ambient occlusion, full render. Uh, these are all available from the render properties in the bake tab. And today I'm just going to show you the normal map baking. So in this case, I'm using the same sculpted head model from Kent Trammell. And you can see my baked map here with the normal map applied to it. This is just baked out to a 1024 map. So it's got a few artifacts in a few places, you know, a little bit of cleanup necessary there, or I could adjust the settings a little bit, you know, I've got some intersection within the lips and whatnot. But in this case, you know, for this still mesh, then it works pretty well. But if you want to actually do the baking process, the way that you can do this is one of two ways. Uh, you can either bake from a high resolution sculpt onto a lower resolution mesh, or you can actually bake the high res directly to the lower resolution version of the same mesh. Now, in this case, both of these are essentially the same thing because my low resolution version is nothing more than my level one uh, multi-resolution within a single subdivision surface modifier applied. But assuming that these are different mesh meshes for a moment, you know, maybe we've created a low poly version for a game model or something like that, then you can simply choose the selected to active. Otherwise, you could choose bake from multi-res and then you would just use on the multi-resolution modifier. The version or the level that's used is the render setting here. So in this case, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to turn this down. This was baked at full level five. I'm just going to turn it down to level three so that this will bake quickly for the demonstration. So to do this, I'm just going to bake selected to active because I'm going to assume that my low poly version is not the original uh, low res version of the multi res. And I'm going to select the high res. Then I will hold down shift and select the low res such that the low res is now my primary selection. And then I can simply click bake and that will bake out all the normal maps to the image that is applied to the UVs. If you don't have an image applied to the UVs, which is done simply by going into edit mode, selecting all the UVs and either creating a new image or assigning the existing an, an existing image. If you don't have an image assigned, then you'll get an error that says no image found to bake to. So you just need to assign that. And there you have it. So there's the normals all baked out. We do have a couple of settings that we can adjust, such as the margin. Uh, so, you know, for for games, you'd probably want to increase this a good bit. We've got our split settings, uh, whether it's, again, whether it's going to clear the existing one. So if you're doing a multi-stage bake, so you're making multiple objects out to the same map, then you would want to disable clear. And then we also have a distance setting for the maximum distance, and then a bias if you're working for, or working with pieces that are very close together. And so to prevent them from intersecting within themselves, within the bake process, then you can set the bias to basically restrict it to objects that are closer to the surface of the low resolution mesh. So that's the normal map baking. We do also have full texture baking and whatnot. And now in this case, I don't have any textures baked, uh, but you could also do say the full render. So on the full render one, I've already set this up with a, a normal map material. And so if I were to go in here and set this to be full render, Maybe I will just assign a new image here so I can just delete this, add a new one, and this will be full render. And then I will click bake and it will literally bake out everything that it can from the full render, including textures, the shaders, uh, any, any lighting effects that we've added. And it will just bake it all out right to the UV. So this can be helpful if you're creating, um, you know, sprites for games or anything like that. So there you go. You can see it all baked out can be very handy for any number of things, or if you want to set up kind of a, a very evenly, you know, sphere lit object or something like that, you can then get even global illumination from everything and almost get even a better AO pass of sorts. So there you have it. That's the texture baking in Blender. This does also include the ambient occlusion baking, shadows and whatnot. So very, very handy uh, for any kind of texture creation process.